Now that you've unpacked your XL8 and uh, checked that you have all the parts, uh, we have a separate video you've probably watched by now that covered this. Uh, we're going to have a look at putting the lens together for the first time. So we can set the bag to one side. Uh, taking the main lens, remove the rubber band and slide out the top section. Uh, Remove the yellow cap uh, from the tip. To do this, you need to depress the tab on top of the quick release connector and pull the yellow cap at the same time. Keep that to one side, you will reuse it. Uh, again, remove the bands from your tubing kit and also take off the caps. This is the end that attaches to your DR5 trigger. The opposite end has a dust cap. Again, remove that. Keep all your caps together. You can keep them in the top pocket of your bag. It will stop them getting lost. Once you have uh, the open end of the tubing kit and the quick release connector with the dust cap removed, it's just a matter of pushing them together you'll feel them click. Once they're together, they can't come apart. There is a separate video on the use of the quick release connector, but very basically, it has a tab on each end. When the tab is compressed and pushed in, put it this way, it releases the tubing. Reverse the process to put connect again, and if the tabs aren't pressed, it won't come apart. One point you do have to watch is when sliding the connector back inside the top section that you don't catch it on the edge of the lip. If you catch it on the edge of the lip you can depress the tab and obviously that can result in the cable coming apart. So what we do is after you've taken this section out, connect it up your connector, feed this bit in by hand gently so that you know it's cleared okay and then push it through. Taking the other end, twist and lock and then remove your dust cap. It's now a matter of feeding the top section back into the pole, which is just really the reverse of where you took it out from at the beginning. Take off the rubber cap, keep it for use at the end, and slide your tip section through, grabbing the end of it when it appears. The pole should be put up in a vertical position. You twist the lock each section to hold them in place. If you do find at the start when you try to use it that it falls back down on you or slides back in, you're not twisting them tightly enough. Just a little bit harder. Don't go too hard if you can crush it. It is a fiberglass pole, but within reason, you'll get to know how it works just by putting it up and down a few times. Um, to take the pole down, it's the reverse process. You twist, push to the section joints, just hold each side, twist, and gently slide down. Don't bash the end on the ground or you can damage the lances. Um, so that's how, how you basically put it up and put it down. Um, as I say, when you're storing it, uh, put, keep the caps back on. This will stop the end of the pole getting crushed and damaged. And uh, it's just really a reverse uh, of the assembly. Uh, if you're using it at a very short length, you'll notice there is a detent pin supplied. And this goes through the hole at the base and you put the cap on on the other side. That just means of using it at a very short length, nothing can fall out this way. But in reality, you'll probably not use that very much. It's only there for the very rare occasion when you're using it at a, at a short length. So that, that's really how you, you put it up and put it down. And as I say, this end connects to your DR5. Um, one important point to note when you're using your XL8, attach it to your DR5 and pressurize up to the maximum of free bar. You are using 8 metres of uh, cable and um, we do need a decent bar pressure. If your bar pressure is at 3 bar, you shouldn't have any trouble. If you use it at very low pressures, you can get dust blockages. Now I will deal again with this in a separate uh, video. But if you do get a dust blockage, it's uh, fairly easy to sort because we have a separate uh, accessory which is a dust unblocking tool that runs off uh, our lines and that just blows it clear again. So uh, you don't really have to uh, buy any new tubing kits or any expensive parts. A very cheap un dust unblocking tool is available. So that, that's basically how uh, the XL8 is assembled. And we have other videos coming which you can watch. Uh, 
which cover maintenance, repairs, replacing the flexi tips and spare parts. Pull sections, individual sections are available should you be unlucky and break one. And uh, as I say, a dust on blocking tool. We also have some uh, troubleshooting and uh, tips and advice videos as well. So uh, hopefully you find that useful.